Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and I've had a couple questions come in from viewers about bending EMT. My first one, Bill, could you make up a shrinkage chart for the 30, 45, and 60 degree saddles? Thanks. Yeah, I can do that. In fact, I'll uh, put in a couple more angles as well. And hey, Bill, where I mess up is getting the correct number for the two outside marks of the center line. So here's some three-point saddle bends. This one is 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 15 degrees. This one is 22 and a half degrees, 45 degrees, and 22 and a half degrees. But they're both three-point saddle bends. They're just done at different angles. You see there's a line right here, and that's your center line. And you only get the center line by measuring from where you start, in this case, I started right here. You measure over here, and put then you got to add on the shrink. You see, that's how you get the center line. Because the conduit effectively shrinks when you bend it, it doesn't appear to be as long. In this case, the fitting goes from here over here 25 inches, and I added on the shrink, which happened to be 1 8th of an inch. And then the second question is about the distance from your center line to these outer marks. You see, this is where you make your bends to achieve this three-point saddle bend. You make your first bend right here in a, in a standard way of doing these three-point saddle bends. You would make your first bend right here, and then these outer marks, you would bend here and then here. So the two questions are actually quite related. How do you find the shrinkage so you can make these middle marks? And how do you find these outer marks so you can make your outer bends? Here's a chart that shows degree of bend, multiplier, and shrinkage. So let's say you have a height of a three inch offset. You want your bend to come up three inches. Say your actual obstruction is two and a half inches and you want to exceed that obstruction by half inch, so your offset bend is three inches off your wall to get over your two and a half inch obstacle. So your offset bend is three inches. And let's say you have a lot of room to make this bend, so you use a 10 degree angle. Okay, so your shrinkage multiplier is a 16th of an inch, and your offset bend is three inches, so your shrinkage would be 3 16ths of an inch. So the shrinkage with a small angle is very slight. Now let's say you're using a 30 degree angle. Well, your, your shrinkage multiplier is a quarter of an inch and you have a three inch offset. Okay, now it's three quarters of an inch shrinkage. So it's much greater shrinkage the larger the angle if you have the same height of your offset. Now, to find your outer marks, you use the multiplier. So, with a 10 degree angle and a three inch offset, okay, your multiplier is six. So those outer marks have to be 18 inches from the center mark. You see, with a small angle, the multiplier is large, so the distance from the center marks are gonna be quite large. You get to 30 degrees, you only have a two inch multiplier. So with a three inch offset, your outer marks are six inches from either side of your center mark. Now this is a 72 inch piece of conduit right here. Started right here. And this screw is actually the mark where the conduit starts. So if you take your tape and you put it on the screw here and over to here where the conduit ends, it's 70 and a half inches. So this conduit lost an inch and a half and we call that shrinkage. The shrinkage is a pretty easy concept. If you make these bends, this pipe isn't going to be as long as it was when you started. And in this case, it's an inch and a half shorter because of these four bends. 
Here's the tape for 30 degree bends. And you see the multiplier is 2.0. So since we're jumping up three inches with our bend, we're gonna multiply that three inches by 2.0 and get six inches. And six inches will be the distance between our bends. That's what the multiplier is. And then you move right over next to it. You see the shrink factor is one quarter inch per inch. And since we're jumping up three inches, that's a quarter inch times three or three quarters an inch. Now, we just said the entire conduit shrunk an inch and a half, but that's two sets of bends. So the shrinkage is one quarter of an inch for each inch. And we're gonna come out three inches with our bend. We're gonna, come up, we're gonna jump up three inches. So our shrinkage that we have to figure in for this length of pipe is three quarters of, of an inch. That's one quarter of an inch times three. Now the distance from where our conduit starts to where our obstruction starts is 33 and an eighth. So we need to know that measurement, 33 and an eighth, and we're gonna come up uh, three inches. So let's get started uh, plotting out our pipe as to where we're gonna make our bends. So we've got the tape on the pipe, and remember the distance to the obstruction was 33 and an eighth. So we're gonna add on the three quarters inch shrinkage so that'll give us 33 and 7 eighths right here. Okay, so that gets us to the obstruction. Now, the bend is six inches. The six inches between the bends. So that'll be, that'll be 27 and 7 eighths right here. Okay, so and I'm going to go all the way around with the marks. Okay, so now we're to the obstruction itself, which is seven and a quarter inches. So that'll be 41 and an eighth. Right here, 41 and an eighth. And I'm going to go all the way around with the marks. So this is seven and a quarter. And now we're going to go six more inches for the distance between the bends, so 47 and an eighth. So right here. So there's the marks. Here's the four point saddle bend being made and here's the way it came out. I hope that sheds some light on shrinkage and multipliers and I'll put a link in my video description for my playlist for EMT bending. There's actually 35 videos now, 35 Sparky Channel videos on EMT bending. So thanks, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks, thanks for watching! <laughs>